Do you know that after the BBC exposed TB Joshua, different investigations have been going on? Old videos have been rooted up and shocking discoveries have been made. So if you stick with me and follow me closely in this video, I will be revealing to you five shocking videos trending currently that has made lovers of the late prophet TB Joshua change their minds about him. It may surprise you to note that even after many prophets who are sons of TB Joshua have come out in his defense, DSTV and GoTV removed his channel and recently even YouTube suspended the official Emmanuel TV. So without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. And while we do that, please go below this video and click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you first whenever I post a new video. Now, the first video I will be showing to you is the trending interview of Jim Ike. Many of you remember how news was flying some years back of how Jim Ike went to TB Joshua's church for deliverance. And even the synagogue church made it look that way. They painted it so well so that it looked that way. So first of all, I will show you the deliverance video and then you will hear what Jim Ike said about the whole thing after. Let's go. What am I doing? You're too small. I'm not going anywhere. Damn it, I'm oh, too big. He's too big. He loves God too much. God, he's too more? wealthy. He's too big. If I let him go, if I where will I go? What do you want to do to him? Destroy him. Huh? I have to destroy him. He's God. He's God has kept my life. I've done everything. I've done everything to destroy him. He keeps blessing him. He's too stubborn. What are the things you think is in him? Huh? He will never get married. He will never, never get married. He will never get married. He can't love anybody. What have you done to his career? I've tried to destroy his career. Keep rising. I can't breathe. Oh. Oh. I can't breathe. Uh. No. Listen, listen. I can't let him go. He will never go. I will never ever let him go. Don't you understand? This one is the biggest of them all. This is God's glory. If I let him go, if I let him go, everything is gone. How are you? I'm good. In the name of Jesus, you demon, it's time you go. Ah, no. the mighty of Jesus Christ. Oh. No. Just go. Ah, the mighty of Jesus Christ. Come on. 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 So right now, in the name of Jesus, out! Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. No! Out! No! Out! Okay. Come on! Come on, Jesus Christ. Out! The mighty of Jesus Christ. Out! So if we thought that the whole synagogue thing mm. was a stunt. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Um, you know, that is part of why I withered. Um, I didn't only, really, when orthodox medicine failed us, I mean, from Luton, I took my whole family to India to be with my mom, mm -hmm. and then she started getting better. This is the light of your life, mom, for crying out loud. Just I'm it. not going to wager it for, for theatrics, for melodrama. Mm -hmm. And at some point, an offer was made from there to take him there right. by um, by a, a senator friend of mine. He said. Right. So I refused. Right. So you know my sisters, you know, when you're in a family, so they had a meeting club, my dad said, if anything happens to my wife is on your head, the pressure was too much. I said, okay, I want to go. Mm. If they will save her, I will go. go. So they told us, put her in a hospital. I'm telling you this thing, how it works. If they want to refute it, let them come back. Mm. They put her, we put her in a hospital, closed them. And I went there, there was a presidential suit I was, I was accorded. When I went there, I'm like, okay, let's get started with this. And they said, I must come down today. To the service. I said, I don't have to come down to the service. You people promised to me, like, does God need me to, you know, yes, I'm skeptical. Yes, I've, I've shown people a great degree of cynicism, but do it and they make me a believer. Yeah. I will live in this church for two years if you, yeah, if you heal my mom. So after a while, again, the meeting, like, you need to come down. Da, da, da. I remember I was in there. My sister was behind me when they, this guy came. I was doing stuff. When he crossed me, I, I chuckled. Which guy? The, the late the guy was no, not him. Okay, there was some a guy other guy. He didn't conduct the person. Right. That, that, one of the yes, that I chuckled. My sister, 
stop laughing. This thing is serious. I don't want them to see laughing. Then he came back to me. My brother, I don't know what happened after that. This world is deep. There's a certain spirituality I've come to understand about this world that is way beyond us. Mm. Um, what happened, I don't know. I saw the video. I said, that's not me, but that's me. Mm. My brother, you must understand that I am not an island of knowledge. Mm. I've done my part. But the one thing that is of a truth that you can take to the bank is that till I die, I'm the true son of Gladys. Mm. And I will never, ever wager or waver her memory and her legacy by telling a lie. I've said it time and again, if everything I'm saying is not true, let somebody come out, show proof that you gave me. How much are you going to give me that I've not seen to play with my mom's life? My mom was lying in a hospital in a coma, and then they're saying I'm playing mm. theatrics somewhere. Mm. So what, what killed me was that they didn't touch her. He didn't touch her all through. He never saw her eye to eye. Really? Just, after that drama, all they were fixated on was heat, was it dead? Yeah. And I said, okay, I've suffered. I think my career has even ended. Can you heal that? That's one man. Yeah. And he never touched her. It was always one, one story and another. Weather for two and a half weeks. Now, we move to the second video. Many of you know Andrew Ejimadu, popularly known as Professor Awan. The first video I watched about him, he was boasting about giving musicians and celebrities power to make fame, power to become popular, and this power that he gave them later killed them because they did not follow the rules and regulation he gave them. Some of them he told not to sleep with women. Some of them he told not to do one thing or the other and they refused. So that got them killed. In that video, he also boasted about turning into a snake to eat up a rival pastor on the mountain while that pastor was praying. Now, just like other fetish pastors, the likes of Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufeyin, who did a video saying that God sent him master keys from heaven and in that video you, you hear him say action you know that the thing was all faked and at the end he ended up selling the keys that he said God gave him he was selling it to people so that's the person defending TB Joshua or you want to talk about Odumeje Odumeje who everyone knows is a fetish person now coming to this Siawan this same Siawan is someone who always say that he has somebody who he calls Godfather that gave him powers say that's the first person he respects then this same Siawan will be telling his members not to follow the Bible, that the Bible was written by white people. He condemns churches, condemns Christianity. He speaks against Christianity. When you listen to him, you know that this person is not a Christian. Then he tells his members to come and collect powers of do as I say. He will tell his members to chat him up that he's going to give them a power that they can conjure money and money will appear. Now this is the person that wants to defend TB Joshua. You can see that like, defend like. You can see that false prophets are standing for each other. Now let's hear what Siawan had in to December, say. In December, I was in synagogue. I was there. I know what I'm talking about. T.B. Joshua is not an ordinary person. T.B. Joshua is a powerful human being. I can never attack him. Never. I can never attack him. Even if he does bad thing to me. I can, even if he speaks bad thing against me, I will never attack him because I know I know where he's coming from. I know the, the what is playing drum for him in the bush that is making him dance in public. So I can never, never attack him. I will never attack him. He's a man of God. He's a power. I don't understand. Those of you, those of you that don't know him, you don't know what they are talking about. Check his background. Check where he's coming from. Check, check, check him. You don't know him. So I can never attack him. Never attack him. Never. There is a man of God that attacked him. You know, there is, this thing of Pentecostal church is a very big... Pentecostal is a very big problem. There is one man of God that went to visit him one day and he was praying in the mountain. He invited the man of God to the mountain. As they were praying, the man of God came back to South Africa here and said, I went to TB Joshua Mountain. I saw him with a snake. I saw him playing with a snake. I saw him cuddling a snake. That man of God died of cancer. Hello? There are people you cannot play with. TB Joshua is one of those people that you cannot play with. I know where he's coming from. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, we move to the third video. After the BBC documentary on TB Joshua, TB Joshua's church released an old video recorded when Ajoke goes with Joshua was young. The video showed how the late TB Joshua was narrating how Ajoke was dropped in front of the church by an unknown person and showing a very convincing police report. In fact, different type. When I watched the video, I noticed that a lot of things was fishy and the video is currently showing in the background. I noticed how TB Joshua was condemning adopted children, warning people not to adopt children, which looks strange to me for somebody who they say is a loving father who loves children. And so, and also in the video, I noticed how they found Ajoke the day they said they found the baby. 
the baby was crying and struggling for a while while tb joshua was holding the camera and recording the crying child even me watching the video i felt like carrying the baby i wonder how tb joshua was able to record that video seeing the baby like that now after that video came many were saying that ajoke is not a tb joshua's child but after noticing the striking resemblance between ajoke and tb joshua and after watching a video i'm about to show you now many people changed their mind now i've heard of another old instance that every member in church said this child was abandoned in the church but later we later heard that that child was not abandoned in the church that the mother of the child also even came to synagogue and told the disciples that this that should that child belongs to Tibidusha, the mother of the child and Tibidusha said so he dismissed it. As he dismissed it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
TB Joshua was okay. But don't forget, there was a case. Uh, when I was detained in uh, uh, the Nigerian Correctional Center in Ikoi, Ikoi, I met two of his disciples who claimed that they, 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 they started the whole mission with him together. But when they demanded for something, that look, they want to go, he arrested them. And so I called the, the chairman of the Human Rights Commission in Nigeria, based in Lagos, who is now a king in uh, Epe. Epe, forgive me. That look, Papa, you have to look into this matter. Now he went. He made the Oba of Ukotwigbe. Uh, the Oba said, among others, that look, but Omodeni took by the yen, Oman Shebioma, Amaleni, Agbara Tideo, Kiwojeno. Which means that when he first got there, he could listen to people, but now that the population is increasing, he doesn't. Eventually, he went and came back. So, what I did, Hello? I don't do so for Last anything. Minute. I did that as a father for the two boys to be free. Last minute. Yes, I did. The brothers are alive now. Even they are operating their churches. I did not say, don't operate your church. Don't call you Jesus. No. Jesus said in the Bible, when they ask him, Father, people are going their, their way. He said, leave them. When the time comes, they will know their father. Even in the case of um, uh, um, Income Bay, Income Bay, there's a program uh, director. Yes. Call Allah with. Allah with you. Yeah, I intervened. I said, dude, there should be no fight. Why are we contesting? But because in the absence of the light, Everybody, Muslim, is fighting Christian, Christian, they fighting this and that. I came out, but Allah, we I don't know. He made a mistake by abandoning the farm oracles that he was using. That's why he got caught up. Terry, mm. that made so many things to go wrong. In fact, I did ask, and not only that, I must say it here because. I'm a father and I have to say it because it has it is affecting the lives of so many Nigerians, particularly the Atlantis children. In Matiya World Chief Mko Abiola, Tunle, Tunfekpa, or Lossi or the TB Joshua. Instead, because of Ipe, well, or Agbalele, you need a power, divine power, spiritual power. In Shalofi, we will be a power here, but you are okay. Go check our mind. Back for the mini, or back to the power. I am free. I'm not against anybody. Why should my life to be taken away? So all those things put together. You know, there are many other people who have with him. And then when he came to the point of touching people's head and rolling on the floor, I said, No, Baba, you are going too far. Ni Europe, in America, won't be sure. They won't hear. Tell them that you are using African power. That's why it's happening like that. Don't deceive. They are not happy that you are performing wonders in Ifan, Ogu, Oya, Shogo, and you are giving the credit to Jesus. Tara, Okolo, you can't do that. Ah, only so not sure you know, to Joshua was using African, African powers. powers. No, that's it. That's it. it will grow go to university, be a minister, a governor, and I, your father, will be in a tattered house. The whole world will what? We swear on that child. Those are the reasons that he departed like that, because he did not prove that the power he's using is Africa. Now, if you were listening attentively, if you were listening to Guru Maharaji word for word, you will notice that Guru Maharaji was establishing that there was a close relationship between him and T.B. Joshua, something like a father and son relationship. You even had when he said, uh, you cannot be doing all this miracle, you cannot be as great a minister, then your father, me, your father, will be like this. He was calling himself the father of T.B. Joshua. Now, for him to be telling T.B. Joshua, oh, don't lay hands on people and let them fall, you are going too far. For a, for a, a man like like Guru Maharaji to be instructing somebody who claims to be a man of God, you should notice that that is his source. That's why he could instruct him to an extent. That's why he could be telling that, hey, 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 you are going off boundary. Oh, don't do like this, don't do like this. So underneath, what Guru Maharaji is saying is that I am his source. So that's why Guru Maharaji was able to instruct him. If T.P. Joshua is a true man of God, how will somebody like Guru Maharaji be instructing 
a man of God. And I want to tell you, viewers, that T.B. Joshua is not the only person who is using fetish powers. There are many of your pastors who are using fetish powers. I know some people will still keep following T.B. Joshua because the Bible must be fulfilled. The Bible says that many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. But if you love Jesus sincerely and you sincerely love the truth, I don't see why you will still be calling T.B. Joshua a man of God after this. I will leave you to meditate and ponder on what you have watched. I will be waiting for your comments. Shalom and God bless you.